What's up, you guys? My name is Marion with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash your sub button to be notified for free readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, Caps and Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 05. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I do. Um, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm in a good mood today. I'm about to go walking. I wasn't planning on doing another one today. I might do some sign readings tonight, maybe. I, I feel guided to do them, so I might do them tonight, just to let y'all know, okay? Um, and I'm serious. I might. I just feel guided to do some. Um, I have a little time to do it. Um. Uh, oh, by the way, if anybody in the Huntsville, Alabama, Decatur, Hartsville, Coleman, Southern Tennessee, or you want to drive to Huntsville, Alabama for any of the items I'm selling, um, on my community tab, on High Priestess Intuition, which I'm, this is going to be posted on High Priestess in, in, Intuition because I have two channels, but on High Priestess Intuition, <clears throat> which is where this one is going to be posted, on the community tab, I have listed a whole bunch of items for sale. I'm basically selling the contents of my home. I'm moving at the end of this month, okay? If anybody's interested, it's cash only. Um, if it's not large items, I meet you. I will meet you in the Huntsville, Alabama area for safety reasons. If it's large items like bedroom furniture, you have to come to my home. Um, just saying, okay? Um, yeah, I'm moving at the end of the month. And I want to say, ironically, today... I uh, was just speaking, excuse me, speaking to my neighbor over there. He's moving too. <clears throat> excuse me. He's moving too. And I had no idea. But um, there was a whole family up in, like many families, that, like a whole family up in there. But they're all moving. They're all moving. So um, new times. And then the neighbor across the street said that they're moving um, possibly the end of the year to, or maybe next year. But, you know, we're August. We're going into fall time. So. New interject spaces, just saying. Okay, so I received a channeling. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I do, I do, I do, do. Um, the channel message I received was, you're an inspiration to others. You're about to find this out from someone you would have never expected very soon. That's what I heard. So, I, and that's beautiful. It's I love the good channelings. I love them. So you're an inspiration to others, and you're about to find this out soon from someone you would have never expected. So you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. That's really beautiful. By the way, tomorrow, um, for sure, I want to let everybody know real quick while I'm thinking about this. Tomorrow night, evening, I will not be on here. Tentatively from 2 to like 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Because I, um, y'all know I got arrested for um, disturbing the peace in October 2021. Class C misdemeanor. I didn't get charged or anything. But I went through the city diversion program, um, and I'm a nurse, a nurse. I didn't want it on my record. Um, but I went through the city diversion program, um, and I could have fought it because I had the body cam footage. I could have fought it, but I just had so much shit going on, and I didn't want to risk, like, my career. So that's a huge, uh, you know, I know what happened in that, but I can't control statements coming out of other people's lie, uh, mouths. People lie. And that's just the truth. Um, so, and I know those officers couldn't stand me. I know they couldn't stand me. I know they couldn't. So, um, I just, you know, I had to think of my career and my kids and all that. So, but I am, um, I still have the body cam footage and I've got under physical lock and key. And I, and that's just the truth. I still plan on showing it. But anyway, so, um, <clears throat> I say that because I've got to do two classes for this to get this, um, so this will not show up on my record. Um, I had to think professionally. So, class one is tomorrow. So, just let everybody know, okay? Will not be on here tomorrow night. So, um, you're a huge inspiration to someone, and basically, um, uh, through is you're about to learn about this from someone you would have never expected. So whoever this is and however this applies, that's really beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do. I do. I do. So 
So whoever you are, inspiration person. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call, so I just heard. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. You're about to learn about it from someone you would have never expected. I heard take it upright. Um, I think whoever you're about to learn about it from, you would have never expected. I think they have money. I heard take it upright. We have men holding a coin. I think it's a masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine because we all wait, we all take on heavy masculine. I mean, we, well, we don't have to. I take on heavy masculine because I'm a chick, a single chick, and been a single independent chick for a hot minute. So I take I take on heavy masculine, yeah, but some chicks don't, and that's just the truth. So, but everybody exhibits masculine and feminine energies inside themselves, and that's just the truth. Um, whoever you are, ma'am, um, or sir, are you mean ma'am or sir over here that you're an inspiration to, and somebody you never expected is about to tell you. I think they're a masculine energy about to tell you this, or a femme that takes on heavy masculine, um, because they're showing up as men holding a coin, and I think they have money, because they're holding that big old pentacle, I think they have money, or investments, or something that makes them wealthy, um, I think, I think financially wealthy, I mean, because you, you can be wealthy in spirit, wealthy in, um, in, integrity wealthy in um a lot of things not necessarily money but this person showing up as man holding a coin is putting a big old big old pentacle pentacle there so i think it is physical like land or investments or physical money in a bank account or stocks or bonds or um or the stock market or something of that nature how that resonates um so a ma'am you think masculine or feminine energy this person i feel is is the one unexpected gonna tell you um or energy is reversed or you can be this person and you have a lot of money and you're an inspiration and somebody is about to tell you how that resonates let me see if i hear anything Someone did not see your worth in the past, but they really, really do now. Really do. Now. Okay, I heard someone did not see your worth in the past, but they really, really, really do now. So, uh, ma'am or sir, this resonates for you. They did not see your, um, your <clears throat> worth in the past. For some shape, form, or reason, they did not see it. I think they might have been clouded by maybe gossip train or clouded by something else. Um, or maybe clouded by lies or deception or what have you, what have you, but however that resonates, they were misguided or lied to or clouded in some shape, form, or fashion, but they're not now, um, and so, and I strongly feel it's a masculine energy that has money or investments or what have you, what have you, or a femme that takes on heavy masculine. Um, how that resonates, so or ma'am, Okay. Number 43 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 43. One of these people is about to see in something to you soon. Very useful to you. 
one a wire transfer, one in the United States Postal Service, one to your door. Okay. One of these people is about to send something very useful to you, one in the United States Postal Service, one to the door, and one wire transfer. So wire transfer, I think that might be money, um, and I'm just being for real. Um, I heard wire transfer. So for one, I, I, I strongly feel it's money. Um, for one, it's something useful to you, whatever this is. I think useful to you, I think money and gift cards, but, you know, it really could be anything they think will be useful to you. It could be information um, for some of these cases, but whatever this is, it's the wire transfer, I think, is money, and I'm just being for real. I think the wire transfer is money, bar none. Um, but the United States Postal Service, that could be anything, and that's just the truth. Same with the item to your door. That could be a small item, a large item, a medium-sized item. A freaking car with a bow on it? Hell, I don't know. Well, no, they're not driving up a car to your door with a bow on it. Um, I would hope that'd be in a car lot, properly parked. But, you know, you plug it in how it resonates. And one of these masculine energies is about to lose a huge amount of money soon. A huge amount. From a screw up and it's about to give them a huge wake-up call a huge wake-up call one a secret child one a mistress way overpaying way overpaying okay I started to screw up then I heard a, a uh, Secret child and a mistress, way overpaying. Um, well, I mean, but it's their free will choice to overpay. If they're in love with this mistress and they're wanting to free willingly choose to out thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars to upkeep this mistress, that's their free willing choice if they can afford it. Whoever this is, I think they can afford it. But that's on them. And that's their free willing choice. But if they choose to cut off the mistress and save all this money and focus on themselves and living and traveling or whatever they want to do, that's their free willing choice. I mean, it really is. If you have the money, that's your free willing choice to do whatever you want to do with this money. That's the way I look at it. And that's just the truth. Um, but one, it's a secret child. One is a secret child. So I don't think they're going through the legal system for child support. And I think there's a reason. And whoever this person is, they're very wealthy for one of them. So there's a reason they're not going through the child, um, the legal system. But I think they're paying out a shit ton of money for this secret child. Oh, my God. And one is going to be a gambling brothel. One is going to be a gambling brothel. And one a gambling brothel. This reminds me of like um which you know gambling is different than drinking, but like the prohibition back in like the twenties when all the gambling on um, the uh alcohol was illegal and um you know the speakeasies and you had to knock eight times and say the secret word and then when you got in the door was like this big and you had to go like skinny skinny and eyes it through. Um I think those places are full as hell. Uh, little secret rooms and secret places, but but that's what this kind of reminds me of. Some kind of gambling brothel. However that resonates and applies. So some it's gambling brothels. Some it's um, secret children. Some it's mistresses. But like I said, if they have the money to upkeep this mistress and they choose, I mean, whatever, man. That's why I'm legally single. Um, but I would never want to be treated that way as a wife. But some wives, as long as you're paying them to upkeep their life, they don't care who the hell they screw. And that's just the truth. I am not one of those people. I'm definitely not. Anybody that knows me knows that. I'm definitely not one of those people. Um, if you want to be with me, you be with me because you want to be with me. And if not, you break up with me um, and let me go. And that's why I've remained legally single all these years. And that's just the truth. Um, that's the truth. Because I refuse to be treated that way. 
it, I mean, if you want to be with me, you show me you want to be with me. If not, we cut it off, period, point blank. But I don't want to legally be married to you for the look of things and then um, um, it not work out. And then we look like the Joneses and you're really screwing somebody behind my back. Fuck no. I, I'm the other way. I'd be more like the mistress way, except I don't date anybody that's married. And that's just the truth. But everybody's different. I don't judge. But they're about to have some huge money losses. Ma'am or sir, you, they overlooked you in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. They overlooked you. I think they looked down upon you. They looked down their snotty little rich noses on you because I don't think you had money in the past. Or you wasn't financially... Um, up there like they were in the past but i think for some you've gotten up there or you're getting up there and now or something has happened to you in the investment arena or financial arena or some other kind of arena to where they're they're having a wake-up call realizing they should be looking their snotty bratty little rich ass noses down upon you basically this is exactly what i feel but you plug it in how it resonates okay Okay, I didn't think I didn't hear anything else. Okay, you're an inspiration, my dear. Oh, my dude, my dear, my dude, whoever you are. I love you guys. Everybody have a good day, and I'm gonna stay.